Hi, my name is Justin Kohler. I'm the Vice President of Products at Spectre Ops over Bloodhound and Bloodhound Enterprise. I'm going to talk to you about attack paths, uh, what attack path management is, and why we created Bloodhound Enterprise to solve this problem. We're going to start with this view of an attack path. So we may or may not have seen this before, but basically I can get from David's account to domain admins uh, through the abuse of misconfigurations and user behaviors. And we might want to try to fix that by uh, addressing some of these configurations. Um, but those that have done this before know that that's a failed strategy uh, because this is what the directory looks like on the back end. So there are in any environment hundreds of thousands, if not millions of attack paths to take it over. And this is not just a di active directory problem. This is in Azure as well. And more so, this is not a Microsoft problem. This is not just limited to Azure. This exists where any anywhere where you can give identities and resources privileges, uh, and those privileges cascade in unique and interesting ways that create attack paths. Let's talk about the scale of this problem and why addressing these one by one is really uh, infeasible. So if you think about your directory as a map of the United States, this is a really good analogy. And if I, if I asked you how many routes are in between LA and New York, uh, that's a silly question. There's millions, billions. It, it's actually an infinite number of paths that connect those two points. So when we start thinking about addressing, or if we were, we were thinking about an attack path as a route across the United States, and we were to say, well, we're gonna stop somebody by removing this road in the middle of the country. You're like, well, that's silly. We know that because this is what we understand in the background or the map of the roads that connect these places. We can just route around that. And a similar problem exists in Active Directory in Azure. So if we think about a, the map of the United States with 20,000 cities connected by 5 million roads, uh, we know that a single Azure tenant or Active Directory domain on average will have around 130 objects or you know, users, computers, service principles, virtual machines, you name it. And those are connected by about 3.5 million edges or roads, uh, specifically privileges or uh, configurations that allow us to get from object to object. So really fixing attack paths individually is not an option and anybody's ever tried to do this uh, um, themselves understands this frustration. And that's why we created uh, attack path management to directly solve this problem that we, uh, we discovered and struggled with for years. Attack path management is the continuous discovery, the proactive discovery and mapping and risk assessment of attack path choke points. If we were to go back to our analogy, if we're trying to defend uh, the island of Manhattan in New York, why are we looking at this map? Why aren't we just looking at this one? And moreover, why are we consider concerned about any road uh, outside of the bridges into Manhattan? If we can just identify those and shut those down, isolate the island of Manhattan, we've effectively removed uh, the threat of anybody getting into Manhattan. The foundations of attack path management uh, are as follows. So we are, have continuous, proactive, and comprehensive attack path mapping across your Active Directory or Azure footprint. We are using that map to create choke points or specific points or those bridges into Manhattan where you can remove and have the biggest impact uh, on the risk of your environment. And those are scored empirically by identifying the amount of users and uh, systems and resources that can traverse those attack paths to threaten your environment. Lastly, we give practical, precise, and safe remediation guidance for every attack path. Uh, it is not reasonable to expect an administrator to understand every specific configuration within these systems. They are extremely complex. So we want to give all the recommendations uh, possible to get you to remove them safely and quickly. Andy Robbins created the Attack Path Management Manifesto in 2021. And since then, the industry has responded. And we understand that this is a key issue for mo most organizations today. CISA even recommends that uh, organizations use tools to identify attack paths and shut them down before the attacker can use them. And Gartner includes attack path mapping as a key consideration in their continuous threat and exposure management uh, process. Moreover, we believe that attack path management is the missing capability in your identity risk strategy. 
Attack Path Management has clear benefits. We are giving you a proactive and comprehensive look at your environment. We again are not fixing attack paths one by one, but single fixes to multiple, and I mean millions of attack paths at once. Those are again prioritized by metrics that you can understand. How many users can impact my environment through this attack path? Again, step-by-step -step remediations. Let's take away the guesswork and get to action. Moreover, attack path management gives you measurable and meaningful progress to communicate the exposure that you've removed in your environment over time. Attack path management, whether it's called that or not, absolutely will be a standard. And we understand this because we have seen organizations take control back from adversaries of their environment. The truth is only 0.02% of attack paths actually matter. These are representative of the choke points uh, across the attack path graph. By using attack path management to proactively map, identify, prioritize, and remediate those attack paths, you can take back control of your organization today. Thank you.